Audio is probably the trickiest part of any setup. If you're broadcasting, if you're streaming, if you're recording video, if you're recording a show, anything. Audio is inherently more complex than video in most cases. But let's start with a basic thing, and this is the OBS audio mixer. There will be specific videos in which we touch up on more advanced audio details and techniques, but for now we'll leave it at basic and starting to set up our stream. So what we do to add two sources we will need, we actually need just one if we don't have commentary, but ideally if you're doing commentary you would have two separate ones. So what we'll do here is go to our settings menu, go to audio, and desktop audio, we can use speakers, or our default, default is the easiest option, so that means if your default is a headphones, if you can hear music or any sound from your PC on your headphones, the fault would be the best option to pick up the PC sound. Now this will output anything you're hearing into the stream. So we can leave that at default. We only have one source here. If you have multiples, you may choose more than one. We'll see that in a future video. And if you have a microphone, since this is an output and this is an input device, they will show it here. So we'll use our line, our USB audio codec, which is this microphone I'm using right now. And as soon as I press OK, you'll be able to see them light up here. So that's my antivirus deciding, OK, OBS is accessing your microphone. And as you see, this is my mic right here. There's nothing happening as far as desktop audio goes. But if I click a few things, actually, we should be able to hear something. Uh, let me get something which we can play here. I'm sure I can play any Monster Cat music because I've got license for that. It's important that we use licensing and we'll talk about that in a second. Keep the volume low for now and I'm going to play a Monster Cat track. And if I increase the volume, as you can see, that's playing right there. So anything that's being output, you can hear there. If I pause, there we go. The music stopped. It's very simple to see and very simple to do. Here we have our levels for each source. So if I did that, that picks up nothing. And the higher I go, the more it picks. Same for the desktop audio. I would suggest the desktop audio, the games being lower than your uh, voice. But you have to make sure that you don't go into the red. The red is what we call the peak. And you ideally don't hit the peak. You're ideally lower than the peak, so yellow would be your maximum. There are techniques to go around this and to make sure this doesn't go above the yellow, but we'll look into those into future. As you can see, we can have many sources here. We can also hide some sources, so if you have a webcam and you've disabled, you'll mute it, and you want to hide it, you'll do hide, and that's gone. I can do unhide all, and I can enable it again, and there are different filters which we'll look at, and advanced audio properties which we'll look out look at and there is this layout so we can have a vertical or a horizontal audio layout it depends on preference some people like it horizontal some people want to have it vertical vertical saves a lot of space so you can do it that way but the same could be said for horizontal if you do this so it depends it depends how you want to put it i use vertical most of the time i'll keep it next to my chat the edgemost thing so i can keep monitoring my audio if something's wrong I like to, to uh, have anything which I have as a reference closer to where I'm looking at. And because OBS is on my right hand side, I'll keep the audio mixer to the left hand side so it's not at the far end. But that's a preferential thing. Settings do the same thing as right clicking on the source itself. So that doesn't really make much of a difference. You can bind these two hotkeys, by the way. So you can use a hotkey to disable that. If you have a stream deck, that's, e that's easier because the Stream Deck will pick the uh, source itself for a specific button press. And that's a very basic overview on how to set up your audio to start streaming. In the next video, we'll be looking at the graphical sources, starting it off with the browser source. The browser source is a very, very interesting source as of late, and we will be having a very good look into it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, please leave them in the comment section below. You can hit me up on Twitch live if you want to ask any questions. I'm available to answer when I'm streaming. 
and subscribe for more content. Take care.